I am done, didn't show you all the mess that I had to do because I had to work all day every day. But right now, I'm going to celebrate a really awesome day. So I am going to do something that you guys love the most, which is to make stuff pretty. No. <laughs> to actually set the table. I am going to show you how I do it my way. A low budget, but still very elegant and very luxe. And I'm sure you would love that. So if you can't cook, this vlog is for you because we're gonna make things pretty and then the cooking comes after. Let's do it. So we are going to start with the mood. Today, I don't have a specific mood. I'm just gonna go like kind of widow-ish. Of course, I'm going to make my favorite plate, the star of the show, and I'm gonna work around that. So we're going to make everything very festive, something that you can use for Christmas or any day actually. I'm gonna start with this placemat, which I love. I actually designed this placemat. I worked with really, really good artisans from Sorsogon. So this is from my shop. And then, since we're going to keep it budget-friendly, this is actually from a Chinese store that sells different Japanese plates. And I got this in Tagaytay, which was actually about 100 pesos, if I'm not mistaken, for one piece. So it's really just finding different prints and plates that are elegant and you can mix together. And then on top, I'm going to put my plate. But before I put that, I am going to insert a napkin. You can usually put the napkin there, here. Um, but I think I like to do it this way. Some people like to really iron out their napkin. I don't mind doing that. But today, I'm just going to keep it very casual and simple. And then you put it on top of the napkin, which gives it like a really nice relaxed feel. And then I'm also going to put this. What I love about my plates with Avon is actually they aren't breakable. So this is really child friendly. It's actually for all seasons. I used to hoard a lot of like plates that aren't breakable whenever I travel. I found it really hard to find a really nice quality kind of plate, especially when they put my painting on it because I didn't want to get scratchy or all of that. But this is actually almost scratch proof. You don't have to be careful when you're eating. But just like with glass plates and all of that, you also have to be very careful when you wash because you also want the longevity. But the best part is kids can throw them, they can throw a tantrum or so the Atis can make a mistake, not a problem. So just like clothes for layering, I'm going to add another water goblet. This can be for juice, the other one's for water, or it can also be for like the alcohol beverage of some sort. It just looks more formal, casual, but I could just say more elegant when you layer your plates and your tablescape. And oh yes, one more. So I am obsessed with Instagram accounts that sell different houseware also. I am always on the lookout for pieces that are, aren't are expensive, that you're not afraid to use, but still very, very elegant. I got this actually from another favorite shop of mine. Love it, gold, very luxe. And I'm gonna put that on the side. It just adds like a really nice feel to it. Okay, so this is more or less my setting. Now I'm gonna play around with the whole table. So I love the lid, especially when you put it in the ref, it doesn't taste like anything after. But when I serve, I don't like putting a lid on just for some strange reason, that's just me. Sometimes you can also put celery sticking out or you could also put like oranges so people can see the orange on top if you have like a special drink or a punch. So I like to keep it open. These I also got from Instagram. So this is really, really nice. You can also layer your dishes. You can put this on top because sometimes with the white, it'll be covered by the food, but if you want to use it as a decorative piece, you could also layer it with something like this. You could put the garnish here, or you can put the serving spoon there, and then whatever you're gonna serve the food. I have my beautiful Avon utensils, and 
just because of experience and I have a lot of guests over, they always ask for extra spoon or when something drops. So I like to keep my Avon set on the side. I want to turn them down, I mean turn them upside down because I like to show the details so it's also very pretty on the table. So I'm going to put it right here. So if you have like, well some people call it clutter, you know some people just like to have it clean or they usually have butlers or servers but this is like family style. You can have all the little clutter like the water and the utensils and like the soy sauce and all of that in one corner of the table so it's not scattered around and it's still very beautiful. This is the exciting part because we are actually not done yet. I'm going to put like a little touch of my kaartehan on this table. I'm gonna start with flowers. All right, so I'm gonna show you like a little simple thing that I've learned from my mom is to always put flowers. If not fresh flowers, you can make it faux flowers or artificial plants, which I love because they never die. And I love having like white flowers all the time because obviously I can get a little bit maximalism with what I do on the table. So with white, it kind of keeps everything fresh. So as you can see, you have detail here. I kind of feel uneven. So I'm gonna put this on the other side of the table just so we have something here. Also, just a little trivia, my husband hates when I put anything in the middle that's too tall because he can't see the person talking. But I still do put something that's semi-tall. A lot of people ask me if I have a storage room. I do have a storage room, but because I love so many abubots and putting stuff on the table, I just usually make use of stuff that are already around me that if you remove, it still looks pretty. Hence, having a lot of abubots in the house really works with people like me. So I'm gonna put this little stand, this little tree, right in the middle of the table. And then to balance it off, I could just leave it like that. Or you could put a candle maybe in the, the side of that. But I'm gonna just check if I can put two small flowers. So I'm gonna put this here, right in the middle. Very pretty. And I think this is bothering me. I'm gonna remove that. So to balance it off, because I removed that big flower there, I'm going to put this in the end just for more abubutation and just more character. And I'm going to put this right here. There you have it! I love it! And I am ready to host a party. Well, a party of six. Alright, so that is it. I hope you guys like my table setting. Again, just like in fashion, high-end, low-end is always the best. You don't always need to have the expensive clothes to look beautiful, elegant, and luxe. And it's the same with everything else in life. When it comes to table settings, this is how I do mine. And it was actually not a bad price. And look at it. It's beautiful. So remember that. It's all about your personality, your character, and how you express yourself with what you do. And this is how I express me. Now, I hope you also liked my plates. I'm so, so proud of them. I'm so, so happy to see everyone tagging me all their plates, my collaboration with Avon. So if you guys do purchase more, I love it when you tag me. Show me on your IG stories and also on your feed because I love seeing how you do your tablescape. This has been Heart or Love Marie. Ciao.